and Wally. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. When all the local MPs met with the North Staffordshire Chamber of Commerce last week, they asked us why North Staffordshire was not on the list to have a local enterprise zone. Will the Prime Minister understand the need for job creation in Stoke on Trent and arrange for his colleagues at local government and at Biz to liaise with us and with the Treasury to make sure that we get that investment when the new list is announced in July? Very good. I completely understand the point the Honourable Lady makes, but particularly in Stoke, where the pottery is community. I wish the Shadow Chance would occasionally shut up and listen to the answer. <laughs> Members can now follow the Prime Minister's advice to the Shadow Chancellor. We need a bit of order. The Prime Minister. I may be alone in finding him the most annoying person in modern politics, but I, I, anyway, uh, I'm sure. No, no. I think I've got a feeling the Leader of the Opposition will one day agree with me. But there we are. Um, right. Where were we? The potteries. Yes. Look, clearly there are massive issues because of the decline of the potteries. I completely understand the need for Stoke to have that support. I think it's very important that she's working to bring together the pottery communities, including other MPs, including the Local Enterprise Partnership. And yes, I'll certainly ask my right hand friend, the Chancellor, to look at whether it can be in the next lot of enterprise zones, because we want to help the pottery communities that she represents. Yeah. Order, Mr. Malcolm Bruce. 